Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Golden God here. I want to thank you for watching today's video. Today we got a special Cresco unboxing of their uh, famous Sativa Strain Durban. And I've never tried it before. The closest thing I've tried, well I've tried uh, the uh, Cresco Durban live resin cartridge out. But as far as flower, uh, grapefruit uh, Durban. I believe it was by Terrapin, which a video of mine I recorded. By now it might be up, but it, it still might be a week before it comes up on the channel. Just because there's so many videos in front of it that I haven't, uh, I've recorded but haven't uploaded yet. But uh, we'll open this in a second. While I read the potency analysis off to you, would you go ahead, subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button, click the thumbs up like button, click the notification bell. You just gotta click it one time and then you're good forever and it'll alert you when my videos uh, come up, which I upload usually every day. And leave a comment down below. Uh, where, what dispensary did you buy this at? I bought this at Canna Keystone Remedies uh, Dispensary in Allentown, PA, and it was around 55 to $60 for an eighth. So pretty expensive. Potency analysis, uh, THC 0.503%, THCA 23.303%. Now I remind you, this is for the sativa strain called Durban. <clears throat> uh, THCV 0.92%, uh, CBDA 0.70%, CBN 0%, CBG 0.06%. CBD 0%, CBC 0.016%, a terpene analysis, B carefeline 0.159%, B pinene 0.144%. Cresco is known to have very high uh, terpene uh, um, at the end, like terpene, um, like the whole, uh, when you add them up at the end, the terpene um, overall analysis. Uh, where was I at? B pinene 0.144%, the total uh, overall. Uh, limonene 0.125%, linalool 0.015%, B myrcene 0.678%, B sabol 0.025%, humulene 0.041%, and, and like always, this all this uh, description, all this stuff here that's like in, bit, like impossible to read on the screen, I will always have in the description below, so you can always read the exact strain information, even like the package date. Uh, this was packaged uh, 0401 2022, so April 1st. Was that April Fool's Day? Yeah. Uh, okay, humulene 0.041%, A pinene 0.107%, and finally terpylene 2.538%. So that's the definite ter uh, dominant terpene in this strain here. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. They just got a little uh, seal right here, so this this opens up pretty easy. And then they got a second thing on the inside, like a little plastic thing that you you just pull off. You'll see. And we'll start we'll start like we always do on iHeart Jane. We got uh, five sites pulled up here. Mmm, -hmm, that smell. It's all like one big bud. Look at this eighth. Lights going out there. <laughs> and like always too, I'll have this up on my Instagram channel with like a magnifier up, up like much close as well. But uh, this is uh, literally more than half the entire bud right here that's got to weigh over two grams you know as a matter of fact we're getting the scale right now because I don't know just to be double sure okay because it's not much like it's this this bud here and literally these two buds here but this oh my god this bud smells amazing Durban by Cresco alright throw that on there that bud alone weighs a shade under 2.7 so we'll give it 2.7 and then these two right here almost a gram it's a 0.9 
So 0 0.9 plus uh, 2.7, 3.6, actually a, like a 0 0.1 over. Here's the whole eighth right there. All right, we'll save that big bud for later. We'll pack this one up right here. While I do that, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Click that thumbs up like button for today's video or any of my videos you watch, really. Ooh, I thought I found a seed for a second. I did find a seed in uh, Matry, uh, the last Matry video I made. It's not up on the channel yet. I'll let you guys know. I think it was the jet, f yeah, it was the jet fuel gelato uh, dry flower video that I did. I found a seed, like a white one, not not the greatest, but it's a seed nonetheless. I've been saving up my keef, so I've been grinding up my bud. I've been kind of doing this Instagram before and after, showing the bud really up close. All the buds nice under this like cheap magnifier I got or no not even that just using my phone but being able to zoom in and stuff uh, kind of holding in the camera but you can only do one minute videos which kind of sucks but anyway all right this is Durban by Cresco which we also if you're watching this video maybe you re recently saw we did a or maybe you didn't see go back and check this out we did a uh, one gram uh, unboxing review video on Durbin's one gram uh, live resin cartridge by Cresco, which is amazing. I highly, highly recommend picking this up. I think I gave it a 9.5 out of 10, which I'm sure this flower I'll give a 9.5 out of 10. We're almost seven minutes in, so and I only got 23 minutes left of recording. So we, let's get to this. Uh, Durbin uh, says sativa strain on iHeartGene.com is getting a 4.4 out of a possible 5 stars on 563 reviews. Cheers, everybody. I'm just making sure I don't ever have cotton mouth again like I did in some of my videos that I saw. I even had to delete one because it was so bad. It looked like a crackhead. And I assure you I'm not. <laughs> Okay, details, effects, you're gonna feel creativity, uh, daytime, alert, energetic, euphoric. Flavors, pine, citrus, sweet, yep. Description, hailing from South Africa, this strain is beloved for its high levels of resin production and bright, robust flavors. Although commonly regarded as being one of the most energetic sativa, somebody might be home, so they yell my name. Please don't like like leave like stay here. I'll try to calm everybody down. Some patients report Durban to deliver potent physical relief after its initial rust has subsided. Durban is a must try for any sativa fan. I just because I hear the dog barking. Top terpenes: terpene, osamine, flavor, earthy, pine. Reported effects: energetic and happy. And I'll leave this in uh, URL in the description uh, below. And the next. Uh, description uh, in the URL we'll leave in the description below is the site weedmaps.com on Durbin's three and a half gram sativa flower literally the picture of the same same eighth right here that we got let's uh, show you one last time here well not one last time we'll probably show it a few more times uh, Cresco elevates everyday cannabis high quality true consistency elevated experience Cresco is cannabis you can count on definitely my, my top three favorites like prime them and pick a third Maytree uh, Moxie maybe not Moxie's dry flower flower uh with giggly happy sativa earthy energetic spicy herbal thc uplifted woody that was just some words that was associated with durban about this strain but then it says durban poison on the bottom here as well even though it says it's durban but it says uplifted happy energetic top reported strain effects for durban and top reported strain flavors earthy woody and spicy and herbal and we'll move on to this next website here. You can be the first to leave a review. Uh, it's this website I just found, I believe for the first time, called canaconnection.com slash strains slash Durban. And it looks pretty cool the way they got it set up. Genetics, 90% uh, to 100% sativa. Parents, land raised from South Africa. THC high, CBD unknown, smell and flavor, woody and sweet, effect, energetic, uplifting, cerebral, 
they got a beautiful picture of like like the plant still on the stalk and everything. Durban sensei sensei seeds sensei seeds, and then you can read the rest here for yourself, just like on the grow and everything and the genetics. It's pretty cool. Uh, who owns Cresco Labs, uh, which I did on the last video for uh, uh, Cresco's newer strain, Mint Face Off, because I believe uh, this strain, Cresco Durban, has been around for a while and cured perfectly. Like, like I probably got a good five good solid hits out of that, and I'm already sown off that alone. I'm easily giving this this bud a 9.5 out of 10. Give you one last look at it. Hopefully this light will actually help me for once. But isn't that a beautiful color there? Love that. That one just giant bud. That'd be great to find a really great seed in there and just hold on to it when it's finally legal to grow. Charlie Batchel, I, I, I put in, who owns Cresco Labs? Charlie Batchel, Cresco Labs Incorporated is a publicly traded, vertically integrated cannabis and medically marijuana company based in Chicago, Illinois, with current retail operations in nine states where marijuana has been illegalized for medical use. And that one of those states is definitely Pennsylvania I know of now because Cresco Labs, the reason I Googled this and made this information like relevant to this video is because the main uh, dispensary that I go to, Columbia Care in Allentown, has just been bought out, not, like their whole entire company and dispensaries all across the country for uh, two billion dollars. And so it, Cresco Labs, it will be changed over, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later, to Cresco Labs. And that'll be interesting. I'm sure they'll sell other products, but if they just sell Cresco, I'll be extremely happy with that. But I'm definitely giving this Sativa strain a 9.5 out of 10. I don't pick up too many Sativa strains. I mean, I pick up, a, I th I'd like to see a healthy balance. I'd like to say in all my unboxing videos. I almost have 100 different medical marijuana unboxing videos if you look at my playlist. And if you, like, really look at most of them to find out if you need to know like from now from doing so many I know whether it's pretty much if it's a sativa a hybrid or an indica but I'm giving this a 9.5 out of 10 it's gonna cost you 50 to 55 to 60 dollars that range in Pennsylvania northeastern Pennsylvania and that's gonna be everybody uh, that's gonna be the video for today peace everybody I hope everybody enjoyed subscribe to the channel click that thumbs up button and stay tuned for the next video we did, uh, we still have some Cresco, believe it or not, to come up, but we did do uh, the Cresco, uh, we uh, paired strains. So we got the Cresco Durban and the Cresco Flower, and then we got the Mint Face Off Live Resin with the Mint Face Off uh, Cresco Flower. So I thought that was kind of cool to uh, be able to get a hold of both. Just to see like this being derived, you know, into making this. So I hope you all enjoyed the videos and I will see everybody in the next one. Peace.